Hi, welcome to Freezer Burns. I'm your host, Greg, the frozen food master. And you're joining me as I eat my way through the freezer aisle one box at a time. Today, I'm reviewing this. Brand new from Popsicle, Sour Patch Kid Popsicles. About $3.50 to $4.50 a box, depending where you go. Popsicle has sent this to me for free. What do we got going on here, guys? First off, do you like Sour Patch Kids? Because personally, I don't. And uh, this is gonna be really interesting because if this popsicle tastes like a Sour Patch Kid, I might not like this, but uh, I will certainly know whether this tastes exactly like a Sour Patch Kid because I don't like Sour Patch Kids. I don't know what I'm even doing. I'm going off on a tangent. There are three different flavors here, lime, raspberry, and orange. Sour, then sweet. Doesn't sound appealing to me, not gonna lie. However, it is really, really hot here in North Carolina. It's hot in most of the country right now and uh, anything cold in my mouth is gonna taste awesome. I think, we'll see. I'm gonna, like most popsicles, come in the white plastic. Looks like a standard size popsicle size. I'm gonna open this up. This would probably be raspberry, being that it's red. Very interesting to me. It's very bright on the inside and kind of white frosted on the outside. I wonder what that means. Let's see how this tastes. Ah, I see what they're doing. You know how it says sour then sweet? Remember I, I mentioned that there's two different layers here. On the inside is the sweet, on the outside is the sour. And on the outside of the sour, it does not have the impact as a Sour Patch Kid. You know like when you have a Sour Patch Kid and you, and you think about Sour Patch Kids, all of a sudden the salivary glands in your mouth are just like water, it's like flooding the inside of your mouth. That's what I was hoping for. I, I'm not saying I like it, but that's what I was hoping for because I wanted to see, can this be an actual like reproduction of Sour Patch Kids in popsicle form? Let me try one more bite. It's more sour than most, but if I didn't tell you it was a Sour Patch Kid popsicle, you'd probably put it in your mouth and say, ah, it's a popsicle. You wouldn't say, wow, what is that sour coating on the outside of that popsicle. So I would say that it's a nice try. It's certainly a good popsicle branding for Sour Patch Kids, but it's not perfect. And remember, I don't like Sour Patch Kids, but I know what they taste like. This is the Popsicle brand Sour Patch Kid Popsicles, about $3.49 uh, to $4. Uh, remember, Popsicle sent this to me for free. I don't think it's what most Sour Patch Kid lovers are going to expect from this type of branded popsicle. Yes, it's a little more sour than normal, but no, it's not Sour Patch Kid level. I give this a three out of five star rating. Question of the day. Do you like sour candies? If you do, which ones do you like? Do you like Sour Patch Kids or is there something else that you like? Leave that in the comments section. As always, I'm your host, Greg, the frozen food master. This has been another review of Freezer Burns. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Okay, so after I finished taping uh, this episode of the Sour Patch Kid Popsicles, I gave the rest of that popsicle to Mrs. FFM and she said, you know what? You are doing it all wrong. You should not be biting the popsicle. You should be sucking the popsicle. So I got another one and I just want to give it a fair shake. I just want to make sure that, am I right in my three star rating? Or am I wrong? So instead of biting, I got another raspberry one. I'm going to suck it. Let's see how it tastes. Again, it's got that exterior sour part. I gotta work my way to the sweet part. Okay. It's a little more sour than I did the first time, 
but it's still nowhere as close to being sour like a Sour Patch Kid. I think that it could be way more sourer. Is that even a word? Maybe I'll amend my, my rating from a three to a three and a half star rating, but it doesn't go any higher than that. I still think if you're a lover of Sour Patch Kids, you're gonna be slightly disappointed by the lack of sourness of these popsicles. Thanks for watching. As always, I'm your host, Greg, the Frozen Food Master. See you next time.